Verehrte Damen und Herren, valued viewers, welcome back. Today's media commentary. If one were to trust the Western mass media, then one might have the impression that in eastern Ukraine it is finally peaceful and calm. After all, for some time now, a ceasefire was ordered by Ukraine's President Poroshenko. However, if you've taken note of the warmongering coverage by the mainstream media during the past months concerning the Ukraine crisis, then this sudden silence might arouse suspicion. Opposed to the silence by Western mainstream media, Urgent, highly alarming reports and eyewitness testimonies reach us directly from eastern Ukraine. According to Mark Batalmai, journalist and war photographer, long-lasting artillery shelling attacks aimed at civilians have continued, especially in the cities of Lugansk and Donetsk, which are being attacked and shelled daily. The more than 5,000 murdered civilians, alone from Donbass, are given as little notice in our Western media as the more than 30,000 dead soldiers of the official Ukrainian army. An army whose soldiers barely had any training and many times refused to go against their own people. Following the advice from Washington, the Ukrainian Putsch government formed alongside the regular army the so-called National Guard, as well as other irregular fighting units. Private armies of the Ukrainian oligarchy are also still active, as well as the so-called right-wing militia. Mark Batamai reported that these paid terrorists never respected the ceasefire and commit horrible atrocities, carrying out genocide on the eastern Ukrainian civilian population. The recently discovered mass graves testify of this, graves full of the bodies of executed men, women and children whose hands and feet were bound and whose bodies showed clear signs of being mishandled and tortured. Our mass media reports nothing about this. Categorical silence about the public executions of the family members of so-called separatists. Silence about the women who were chained to tanks and dragged to death after having to watch their small children being crucified. Such outrageous injustice finds no place in the leading public media because it would counteract their warmongering, falsified propaganda about the evil Russians and the aggressor Putin. Also, all the mines laid purposefully in private homes, yards, even graveyards and mass graves, which the returning Donbass civilians found after the retreat of the Ukrainian army, testify to abysmal contempt of humanity and pure lust to kill. Our mass media is also guilty of this senseless murdering because of their continued silence. By purposely keeping silent to these war crimes, they cover for the true warmongers amongst the completely falsely informed public. Valued viewers, help us to break through this deadly silence. Inform your surroundings about this injustice, deliberate misinformation and censorship. For this genocide in Eastern Europe could spread day for day because it was kept a secret from the public. We close with a quote from Simone de Beauvoir. The most insidious lie is purposeful omission. Thank you for your attention and your valuable support.